right, let's begin. Okay, so we're going to come onto our mat, making sure you've got all your apparatus, your blocks, your strap, and for shoulder balance, either your towels or a foam, something to go up at the end of the class. So toes together, knees apart, and you sort of stretch yourself out, lying down in your child's pose. Relax your head and just extend out. Just surrender into the space, closing your eyes and relaxing down. So as you do that, I'll tell you what we're up to. My body, my friend, that is what we're working into. So if you treated your best friend the way you treated your body, would you still be friends? And that is the question today. This is your opportunity to make friends with yourself. And this is the calling to cultivate a more loving, respectful and fun relationship with your body. So we're going to be trying some balancing poses. See if you can listen, connect and breathe while having compassionate and fun with your body. A little saying for today, if you take the word friends, that means F for fight for you, R is respect to you, I is includes you, E is encourages you, N is needs you, D is deserves you, and S is stands by you. So you must always remember that you do have a friend in your body. So just stretching out there, extending into those arms. Welcome to yoga. Slowly coming up into your fingertips. And then slowly walk out to the right side. Big stretch. Lengthen and extend. Let's slowly walk back to the center and then over to the left side, stretching out. Nice big stretch. And back to the center. Once you're in the center, I want to make stop signs and stop in your hands, stretch into the heel of the hands. Roll the shoulders back and down and feel that good stretch through the spine. Place the hands down to the floor and let's come up onto all fours into the little tabletop. Hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and working with the breath into cat and cow. So flatten the back, inhale, looking up with the eyes, and exhale, round the back all the way down, looking at the navel. Inhale, flattening, looking up. Exhale, working down. Once more, inhale up and exhaling down. Coming back to the center. Taking your right arm out in front of you and your left leg out behind you. Have a good stretch, lengthen, and then slowly bring the elbow and the knee together. So bring everything in and stretching out. Let's do six of everything. So bring in for five. And out you go. Bring in for four. And out. Bring in for three. Out. Bring in for two. Out. Last one. And out. Place the hand down, place the knee down, and let's swap sides. Left arm up, right leg out. And let's come in. Touch for six. Bring in for five, out, bring in for four, out, bring in for three, out, bring in for two, out, and bring in for one, out, lovely, hand down, knee down, right leg up, and right arm up, left leg out, and this time you're going to bend that knee, so bend in the knee. I want you to slowly bring the knee out and the arm to the side. Taking it back. Knee out, arm to the side. And back. Number four. And back. Number five. And back. I mean, three, sorry. <laughs> number two. This is fun. And back. And number one. 
and back. Nice. Hand down, knee down. Left arm up. Right leg up. Okay, we're going over to the side. So stretching out, knees bent. And back. Five. Back. Four. Back. Three. Back. Two. Back. And one. Back. So you'll feel we're working our core and our shoulders. Let me just take my big jacket off. We're going to work to the next one, which we're going to be stretching our legs out. So back into all fours. Let's take your right arm out. Left leg out. Now keeping everything nice and straight. Arm and leg straight. And back. Arm and leg straight, and back, and straight, back, three more, straight, back, two more, straight, back, last one, straight, back. Okay, it's hands down, I'm just going to swap over sides so I don't hit the wall. <laughs> okay, so left arm up. And right leg, um, right leg back. And let's go. Over side. And back. Side. Back. Side. Back. Three more. Side. Back. Side. Back. I think it's one more. Side. Back. Hands down, toes together, knees apart. Big stretch. Lovely. Keep the hands nicely stretched in front of you. Tuck the toes and it's going to a downwards facing dog. Walk it out side to side. Release the head. And then looking at the hands, you're going to walk your feet towards your hands. Head down. Push the hips right forward. Hips are nice enough. Place the hands into prayer position. Roll the shoulders back, lengthen through the spine. And up we come. Stretch up tall, big stretch. And arms coming down. Okay. So we're going to slowly work into our Pincha Marunda Sana, which is our shoulder balance, well it's on our, not our shoulder balance, our inversion, it's on our elbows. So you can either work against the wall, you can work, if you can, in the center of the room. If you're menstruating, you'll have, a, have a short, sore shoulders. Um, I recommend you just going to a down dog. You can also work into a dolphin. So I'll give you variations to do work into it. If you know what you're doing, please go ahead and do it. All right, so one block up, one block down. Obviously, if you find it's too difficult, you're just going to go into your dolphin, which is on the floor, and just holding a block in front of you. Make sure that the elbows are nice and parallel directly underneath the shoulders. They're staying down. If you keep your hands down, making sure that you're holding the block, correctly. Then, keeping your head above the floor, tuck the toes, walk, move your shoulders back, walk your feet towards you. Slowly you start to lift one, and then the other, and then if you can, you slowly start to work up. Hold it there for a bit. Lift out of the shoulders and stretch. Okay, so that's one variation of how to do it. The other variation is to work the other way around. Your blocks on this side 
and then you can walk up the wall. Okay, same difference. The only difference is if you can't get your legs up here, you can walk your legs up the wall. So there you are. Try not to be at an angle where your bum is down and lift the bum up, push back into the shoulders. Lifting up one leg, then lifting up the other. See how you feel, you can lift both. Whoops. <laughs> Your balance is literally in the baby fingers as you hold, slowly coming down. Okay, I'll just let you practice a little bit. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely. So there was one way I was taught was actually to have your head down and you can push yourself up. It is an option, but you do need a lot of strength to be able to push. So to be down and then push back up. It just depends on how how much strength you have <laughs> to be able to do that. Okay. And then let's start to come back to our mats. And we're working to some sun sanitation. All right. So stand on top of the mat. And let's start off by stretching up nice and tall, big lift. And let's work into six sun rotations. We'll start slow and then get a little bit faster. So swan dive, hands front and far in front of you. Hands to the side, bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, right leg steps back. Left leg steps back, plank. You can drop your knees if you want to, chaturanga. Over the toes or if you look up. Shoulders back, straighten the legs, tuck the toes under. Into your down dog, stretch out. Look at your hands, right foot forward. Left foot forward. Hands to pray. And up we go. Coming down, hands to the front, then hands to the side, inhale. Left foot steps far back, right foot steps far back, chaturanga, over the toes, and into a down dog stretch out. Nice, left foot forward, right foot forward, hands to pray, up we go. Now we know what we're doing. We can just roll into it. So hands front, hands side. Inhale, right, left, down, up we come. Down dog. Right forward, left forward. Pray, stretching up. Down we go, hands front and hands side. Inhale, left back, right back, down. Up we come, down dog, left forward, right forward, pray, up we go. That was two, coming down, hands front, hands side, inhale, right, left, down, up, down dog, right forward, left forward, pray, up we go. Down we come, hands front, hands side, inhale, left back, right back, down, up, down, up, left forward, right forward, pray, up we go, slight little back bend, we're warming up, front and side, inhale, right, left, 
down, up, down, up, right forward, left forward, press, up we go, down we come, hands front, hand side, left back, right back, down, up, down, down, left forward, right forward, hands to pray, up we go, coming down, hands front, and side, right, left, down, up, down, down, right forward, left forward, press, up, front and side, inhale, left back, right back, down, up, down, down, left forward, right forward, press, and up, that was four, let's do a bit of jumping, hands front, hands side, inhale, jump back, down, up, down, down, jump forward, press, up, Come down, front and side, inhale, jump, down, up, down, down, jumping forward, press, up, we do a double push up with this jump, so front and side, inhale, jump, down, up, back down, and up we go, jump forward, press, up we go, this is the last one, Front, inhale, back, down, up, back down, push it up, forward, pray, and up, hands to your heart, you should be warm, okay, let's stand and sit from mat, I have two pairs of pants that keep falling down, one doesn't, <laughs> one's staying up and one's falling, okay, so let's work into our tree pose, Vrikshasana. Both feet facing forward. Short, I mean, hip width distance, so it's two fists. Let's get that right. Right foot to 90. Hips nice and square. Foot either below the knee or above. Place it in the space. Open the hips. And let's start to work with our breath. Arms out. Standing up tall, nice deep breathing, and let's start to work those arms. Working the arms, stretching up. Lift, 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 lift. Stretch, 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 moving the arms, hands together, and down just above your head. Bring the hands to your heart center. Shoulders back and down. I'm just gonna stay here for about a minute. Remember the tree moves, so allow yourself to move. Allow the breath to go. If you're feeling some pain, move the pain. Or focus where there isn't pain. Feel how wonderful your earlobes feel. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's slowly bring the hands just above the head. Stretching up to the ceiling. And starting to open up. Wonderful stuff. Okay, walk it out. And then slowly placing our left foot out to the side, making sure the right foot is nicely straight forward. Bringing up the left foot, either above or below the knee, not on the knee. You don't want to injure or create, injure or create any pain there. Lift up tall, arms out to the side, shoulders back. Nice deep breath. And let's start to grow. Oops, I'm so busy looking out the door. Apologize. Let's go. Now I'm taking everybody off. Balance. Okay, where were we? There we go. 
stretching out tall, arms up to the ceiling, hands together. Hands just above your head and down to your heart center. Whenever you need to focus, something tends to happen, like noise around you, something to take you off balance. And this is where you really need to find your center. It just tests you a little bit. Coming back to the, the saying of the class, your body, your friend. So find that space. Got a half a minute left. Got a cat scratching at the door. So oh, it's walking away, I can see. You got the message. Wonderful. Slowly bring the hand just above the head. Stretch your arms up high. And it slowly starts to open up wide. Fantastic. Stretch it out. All right. Let's grab our blocks. You place your blocks back to the mat. I'm going to work in a leg distance. So now remember, it's not a huge jump. It's just your inside jump. So one leg distance. If I've cut off your leg there, that's the distance you need to be. All right, sorry. Okay, arms out to the side, big stretch. And let's take our right leg over to 90 degrees. Left foot into 60 and hip square back to the front. We'll teach a tree corner So stretching over to the right, big stretch. Working down, you can move onto your block, you can turn the block up. Make sure you're opening up the shoulders. Hips are slightly forward. Think about being a piece of toast and a toaster, looking up at the top left thumb. If you close your left eye, you'll see a thumb. Hold and breathe. Great for opening up your lungs for those asthma sufferers. Nice deep breathing. Feel all 10 toes on the floor. Feel the length in your spine. And slowly holding the core up we come. Okay, both feet facing forward. It's taking up the left foot to 90, right foot into 60, hips square to the front. Stretching armpits to fingertips. Over you go, big stretch and slowly coming down. Hands to your block. Opening up, chin along the chest, looking up, nice deep breaths. Do you actually want to feel your skull bone competing and pulling against your tailbones? So you've got this nice stretch working in the body, working across from one another. So it's challenging to each side. You should be able to breathe really well. And slowly up we come. So we're working to Ardha Chanda Sana, both feet facing forward, forward. Keeping your arms up, turn out to right foot to 90, left foot into 60, hips square to the front. We're going to work over to the right side, coming down to exactly what we've just done. But the difference is you're going to bend your right knee. You're going to stretch your block out in front of you. Try not to look down to where you're going. So keep looking forward. Get the block and don't move your right foot. Then step closer with the left. And you're going to lift that left leg up. Push into the heel. Yeah. Try and get a little bit of balance. If you've got great balance, you can lift yourself up to so this hand is nice and light on the block. Okay, so try and get nice and light. There we go. Hold it there. Open those hips. If you've got great balance, you try and look up. 
And we're going to hold here for three, two, one. Moving back into a pita tree from the center. So come back, bring your block with you, and straighten out again. Let's work to the other side. Up you come. Both feet facing forward. Left foot to 90, right foot into 60. Hip square. Extending over to the left side. Hand down. Get yourself nice and comfortable into the position. You know where you need to be. And then slowly start to bend your left knee. Stretch forward with that block. Don't move that left foot. Step closer with your right. Then just lift up. Push into that heel. Lift up a little more. Tighten the core. See if you can get your lightness here. Hold it there, flex the foot. If you can, you want to look up. And let's hold it for three, two, and one. With to come down, controlled, perfectly back into a teacher tree called a sauna. Beautiful, up we come. Feet facing forward. We're going to work into Vipadrasana one and three, so arms above your head. Turn your right foot out to 90, onto the toes of the left. Work into Vipadrasana one. Try and push down the back heel. And then if you need to scoot the front foot forward this time. So back heels down, scooting the front foot forward. And we're going to work forward, landing forward, and then lifting up. Hold it, making sure your left hip is down, toes are pointing towards your right heel. Your left toes are pointing towards your right heel. Hold for three, two, one. Back into Vipadrasana one. And let's turn to the front. Let's work to the other side. So left foot to 90, right foot down. Scoot your front foot forward a little bit. Get the hips square. Lift up. And let's work to do the grass in three. So working forward. Up we go. Flex the back foot. Rocking down your right hip. Hold it here. Hold. For three. Two. One, stepping back into the Vipadrasana, one. And slowly coming forward all the way. Wonderful stuff. From there, taking your hands behind your back, either holding your elbows, or you can bring your hands into prey position. Shoulders back and down. Let's turn our right foot over to 90, onto the toes on the left and turn completely. Look at your back foot, make sure it's parallel to the mat. So both feet should be perfectly straight. Hips should be square. Because this hip should be square. <laughs> Shoulders back and down. Lift the chest. Keeping the hips nice and straight. Working perfectly forward in a straight line. Working to your maximum. You can look at your back foot and you can see that you are straight. Stretch it out. And then slowly, you know, just turn yourself to the front, to the toes of the one, the heel of the other, coming to face forward. And let's slowly come up. Okay, if you're holding your elbows, change the cross of your elbows as we work to the left side. So onto the heel and onto the toes of the right. Get the hips square. If you need to step closer, you step closer. But make sure you're nice and straight. Let's open the chest. Lift up tall. And let's start to work forward. Straight, nice straight line. Stretching forward. Work to your maximum. Look at your feet. Check they're nice and straight. Flatten your back. Watch your lumbar spine. You want to have a nice extension here. 
and then slowly you're gonna turn back to the front all the way and up we come wonderful release those arms roll the shoulders back and let's roll them forward okay heel toe together let's move our blocks up well just to the front in front of us just in case you need them and we grab ourselves a strap so we're going to work into Adha Bada Pashmutanasana. If your balance is really bad, you'll lean against the wall, all the way back to the wall. So you've got some, something to lean on, you won't fall over. Otherwise, we're going to give it a try. I'm just going to demonstrate first. Let me just demonstrate. I'll demonstrate the other leg. So what we're doing is we're actually placing our one foot in. I'm going to take the same leg. So left, I'm just going to do my left side. I'm going to hold on there, make sure my shoulders are nice and square, pushing that knee down. Same arm up, so my right hand's up, my right leg straight, and slowly extend forward all the way down, either to the blocks or down to the floor. Make sure that the shoulders are nice and square. Straighten the leg as much as I can, get the shoulders square, and then slowly we're going to work ourselves all the way up. So let's do it together. Taking your right foot, Placing it up. Place your strap around that right foot and hold with your right hand. If you can get hold of that foot, that's great. Okay, but then make sure that the shoulders are still quite square. Okay, make sure the foot you're standing on is still facing forward and not out to the side because then your balance will be off. And then let's lift up. Left arm, left legs, nice and straight. Tight and core, hinge from the hips. Slowly control, look where you're going. Try and go down to a block or go down towards the floor. Once you're down there, work shoulders straight. Work into the leg, you'll feel a nice neural stretch all through the back of both legs, believe it or not. Hold it there for a bit. I want you to feel the stretch. Hold it until you're nice and you've got your balance. And when you're ready, slowly control, they start to come up. Fantastic. Release leg, release arm. All right, let's work to the other side. So you're going to take up the left foot. You're going to grab your strap. You're going to place it around that left foot. Left arm is going to go around. Hold on to that left foot. Okay. Right arm stretches up. Lift up nice and tall. And we're slowly controlled, hinging forward, slow with control. If you find it really hard, bend your knee. That might make it a lot easier. Bend the knee. Working slowly towards the floor. Once you're down, working your shoulders. Let's hold it here for a bit. Allow for that stretch. Keep breathing. Find the balance in your foot. And then slowly control, up we come. Whoops, if you go fast, you'll fall over. <laughs> and release it. Okay, all well done. So we're just gonna go into a nice forward bend into our normal um, Uttanasana. So I just want you to take, oh, we need our straps now. So if you can't touch the floor really well, you're welcome to utilize your blocks, but I want you to really work with a flat back. So whatever you're doing, your back is flat, you're not rounded in any way. So the back is flat, stretching flat, working down, if you can work further. If you're really working, you can work down to the floor, you're gonna work your hands as far back as you can, pushing the hands down, drop your head, and just hold it here for a moment. Great for menstrual difficulties, for disturbed um, balance, 
It's a great pose. Just to relax. Remember, four bends soothe the mind. Also remind you that your body can be your friend as you can just relax into the pose. Use the blocks and try and flatten the back. And then slowly we'll start. Just come up halfway, bend the knees, and let's come down to the floor. Move the blocks up the way. And we're working to a side um, announcement center, our couch pose. So I want you to lie yourself parallel with the mat, stretching out your arm so that you have a nice, you can see the straightness, that your arm is parallel, that your belly, your legs, you want to do a nice straight line. From there, I want you to actually check yourself out. So lift up the top arm, lift up the leg. If you feel that's too stable, you're probably very skewed. You should be battling to stay here a bit. All right, then you're gonna keep the elbow down, hand underneath the head. You may need a strap, so have your strap close by. And then you're gonna lift your top foot, placing the strap around. Lifting up, flexing both feet, and just working that leg towards you. Make sure you're nice and straight. Your buttocks is not falling out to the back. Make sure you're lifting up. So chest is open, and you're extending. Keep breathing, keep lifting. You should feel there's a balance. You have to tighten your glutes. Tighten your core, flex that foot to hold yourself down. And breathe. It's gonna hold for another three, two, and one. And release. So you can either just roll yourself over or you can turn yourself around. And let's move to the other side. Okay, making sure you're nice and straight again, stretching out, getting nicely lined up. Okay, check your balance. See, I can see it in the middle. Woody wobbly. Good. Okay, elbow stays down, hand under. And then bring your top leg, placing that strap around. Bring your hand to the front. So you always grab from the front and then lifting that leg up. I can feel how I have to use that foot to keep me down. I've got to really pull my glutes. Just lift up out of my shoulders. Because if I don't, I'm just going to be lying into a little hole. And I can just pull the leg in front of me. I've got to really keep it straight. And then just hold it for another three. Two. And one. Beautiful, okay, coming down. Okay, you're gonna come sitting up. And you're straightening your legs in front of you. I wanna take our right leg to the side. So bring it into the side, place it down. Try and get the knees together as much as you can. Your foot is just sitting out like a bit daft on the side. I'll work from the side just to show you so you know what you're doing. Taking your strap around in front. Okay, you might be quite lifted on one side. That's pretty much normal because I want you to feel how you kind of flatten down. The other thing is when you're going forward, you want to try and keep the shoulders as equal as possible. So lengthen, be hinging. I don't want you rounding trying to do this. I want you to try and lift up as tall as you can and work yourself forward. So you're going to feel a big neural stretch into your left leg and working forward as much as you can. Now, as you're doing that, look at your shoulders and see that you're not all slobbed to the one side because the one side's so high that you're falling over. So try and work forward, try and lengthen. If you're very flexible, you want to try and get even both elbows on the floor so you can feel the equal, the equalness. You can feel how you can flatten both legs and your buttocks down. You want to actually feel the anal mouth on the floor. Sorry, but it's just a way to explain it. Stretching and lengthening. 
You might want to push that leg out a little bit more, but keeping the knees, you keep the knees together. So you actually have that um, inner thighs and um, are actually constantly pulling together. So you will feel it right at the top of the hips and the top of the, um, your, your sciatic nerve at the back. Then slowly lift it up. You allow the leg to lift up by itself. So let it lift itself up to where it can go. Watch, I don't, you don't lie back. So sit up tall and lift that leg. Then you can take your strap, place it there. Now you can start to lift the leg, but keeping a flat back. You don't want to lean back and you don't want to have that movement. You want to lift the leg as much as you can. Stretch into it. If you can do it and you can hold your foot, you'd rather work holding the foot. Keeping that leg nice and straight. Straighten up, keep pushing down. So you're pushing down, right? You're lifting up left. Straighten leg, straighten back. Focusing on that straightening. Focusing on the shoulders being equal. And slowly we work down. Let's change legs. Just stretching out. Taking now back, left leg. And sitting down. I'll do this one facing forward. Okay, so knees are squashed in. You've got your strap. And again, we're going to try and work ourselves forward. So keeping the shoulders nice and square, try and work yourself forward, flatten your back. Working forward, stretch. Flexing that foot. Okay, slowly up you come. Allow the leg to lift itself up. Then you're holding onto that strap. You're gonna pull as much as you can. Lift, 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 lift. Straight in the back. So lift out of the back. Keep stretching. Keep lifting, keep flexing the foot. Beautiful. And slowly we're coming down. Okay, both legs out in front of you. Pashi Bhutanasana. So we're going to go into our straight, nice forward bend. So if you can, holding the feet or if you need your strap, please work into it and extend forward as much as you can. Again, flat in the back, opening chest, rolling shoulders back and extend stretch. And slowly up you come. Grab your strap around the two feet. And then we slowly bring the knees in. I want you still to be sitting up as high as you can. And we're going to try working our legs. Pull them in straight in the back and see if you can lift up. So we're working to more balance, flattening out the back, lifting those legs. So the easy way is you get the back straight, you're holding tight, you're lifting up tall. 
Hold it. Straighten. See if you can open up. And then slowly bring back in. Controlled, dropping down, controlled, dropping down. Very nice, okay. Placing the strap out. If your back is sore, you're gonna bend and you put water on the sun with your knees bent, you're gonna lift up. If your back is not sore, you can do it with straight legs. So hands are facing in, lifting up. Let's lift those hips. Nice big stretch. And slowly coming down. All right, we're going to go into our shoulder balance. So I want you to get your uh, foams or a few um, blankets, a couple of towels. The whole idea we do this is just to protect that little bone that sticks out over here. It's very important that you don't want to hurt that bone, that occipital bone. So I'll demo a few different ways to work into it. Um, now, if you feel that you can't go into a full halasan, which is a plow, which is taking the legs over the head, if you know what you're doing, you can please go ahead and do it. If you feel that that is not an option, I'm just going to show you what you can do. So you can either one, put the legs up the wall and just stay there with the legs up the wall. I'll just demo that. So you bring your bum to the wall, you go there. And you make sure your legs are up. I'm going to work with a little blanket. You can work with a bit of a higher blanket. Um, underneath my head here. Just move my hair out of the way. So I've got a little bit of a lip here from side to side, hands onto the wall. Then I can place my feet there, lift up, arms behind, work onto my shoulders. So this gives me a bit of leverage to work up. Then I can bring my elbows in and my hands onto my back. And I can slowly work up like this. So it's not a full, full blown Salamba Savangasana because I'm leaning back slightly, but it is a nice way of getting up. And you can simply work one leg and then work the other leg and so on. So this is 100% fine, or you can just even lie down like that. To work into the full pose, I'll work on my firms and I'll work with the strap to give you the options. And then I'll show you a more advanced pose as well. Okay. So you'll see there's a big, nice, decent sized gap there. Going into Hanasana, legs over, working onto the tips of my shoulders, right at the top. If you want to, you can work with a strap. I'm going to sort of show you with the strap because it pulls the elbows in and then I can get really nicely up into a straight line. That's where we need to be, nice and straight. Okay. That's where you're going to hold it and stay here for a bit. To show you more advanced, I'm just going to take the strap off. Okay. Okay, so we're going to stay here for about three minutes. More advanced, you want to try and move onto the shoulders to hold. Okay. And then you can slowly. Staying up, do a few variations, legs out, feet into Vata Sana, eagle legs, eagle legs other side, Guruja Sana. Just hold it there for a bit.
And then slowly you can get work into a Halasana or plow to bring your legs over your head with control. Once you're there, just stretch your arms behind you and take hold of the mat on either side. You roll down one verse at a time without letting your head lift. So slowly coming all the way down. The relief posture, Uttana Parasana, which is our little bridge. You bring, come onto your elbows, lift the chest, and work onto the crown of the head. Once you're on the crown of the head, you lift your arms up to about 45 degrees and your legs if you can. Hold it for three, two, one. Place the feet down, place the elbows down, and then you can slowly move your support completely out the way. All right. Well done. And then let's just do a little bit of um, relaxing movements before we go into Savasana. So just lie on your back, bring your knees to your chest, give them a nice hug. Rock side to side. Place the feet down to the floor, move them to the edges of the mat. Arms either out to the side or under your head, whatever's more comfy for you. And let's drop both knees over to the right side. Right foot onto the left knee. And then turning your head over to the left side. Place back down your right knee, bring your knees up, drop them to the left side, left foot, right knee, turn your whole head over to the right side. And then place back down the left, bring your knees to your chest, give them a nice hug, hug them tight to the shins, so your back is nice and flat, and it's working to a nice happy baby. So obviously if you can't get your tailbone down, your shoulders down, you're just going to hold behind your knees. Great happy baby. And let's have a good stretch, whatever direction you want to stretch into, stretch it out. And let's get very warm and ready to relax and surrender. Most important time of the class, settle yourself down. All the warm stuff comes out. To bubble. <laughs> All right, so lie yourself down, allow your right leg to go to the right corner of the mat, your left leg to the left corner of the mat, your palms to fall out on either side, oh, facing up, and then your eyes just to close. Let everything go as you close your eyes.
Slowly start to wiggle your toes, rub your thumbs over your fingertips, turn your head from side to side, take your arms and stretch them over your head, have a good yawn and a good stretch. Slowly bring your knees to your chest and roll over to your side. If you make friends with yourself, you will never ever be alone. And slowly come to a seated position. May there be peace to the north Peace to the south, peace to the east, peace to the west, peace above, peace below, peace within and peace without, and most importantly, peace with you and your family. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Thank you very much.